Howdy everyone. It's Monday evening and thought I'd do a video on... I was going through my wrench drawer cleaning up and organizing some stuff. When I when I greased the tracks on the drawer, I got some, some white lithium spray got all over the wrenches, so I was kind of wiping them off. Not that I'm a tool polisher or anything, but it looked kind of gunky. And I realized I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different kinds of ratcheting wrenches. And so I thought I'd go through them a little bit with you guys. Um, the first, and my favorite, and my oldest, and probably most used, are my Blue Point. And this is an 18mm Blue Point reversible ratcheting wrench. And it's just awesome. I've, I mean, I don't use them to break rusty, rusty tight bolts, but I've never broken one. And they've just been awesome. I think new on the truck, these are 280. I bought them used off a guy for 90 bucks for the set. And they've been awesome, well worth it. So there's those, the reversible. They're the only reversibles I have. And of course, there's the regular gear wrench, which everybody has. And they're great. I mean, gear wrench kind of sets the standard for the ratcheting wrench industry, business, whatever you want to call it. And I mean, you ratchet one way, you want to reverse to take them off, you go the other way. Simple, good, nothing more special. Um, next, I'll look at the Tecton. This is a 20 millimeter. You look, it's really beefy on this end. And you'll also notice it's a six point. Not many are six points. And this is this has been good. It's 20 millimeter, of course, so it doesn't get used a whole lot, but I have others. And it's it's been a good ratcheting wrench. I'd buy I wouldn't hesitate to buy a set of these just because they are six point. And this is a flex head. I have flex head in the regular gear wrench too. Um, next up is a silver line. And this is a flex head silver line ratcheting wrench. No features. None of these have any features in the open end. Um, and it's the same. One way, reverse it to take off, to turn them on. And silver line is a brand primarily sold in the UK. And from what I gather, some of their stuff used to be real crap. But they've actually improved in recent years. Um, they're not the best, but this one's a 19 and I've used the heck out of it and had no problems with it been a good ratcheting wrench. Um, I believe I ordered this from Amazon. When I was filling in sets, you know, sometimes you buy them and you're missing spots. The next one is a channel lock and it's a flex head. You can get them in flex head and straight. And it does have the an open end feature. It has the serrations in the open end. Plus it has a V, v cut out there and the blue stripe to tell you it's metric. It's been a really good wrench too. I have no problems with it. Smooth. One thing I do with all my ratcheting wrenches is I soak the ratcheting end in a mix of 50-50 acetone and ATF, automatic transmission fluid. Let them soak overnight, it lubricates and cleans them out. Works really well, been doing that for years. Do the same with ratchets as long as there's no plastic bits because the acetone will eat the plastic bits. Um, as I can show you in this, see if this will focus at all. Yeah, that's the, the end of this husky Roto head ratchet. Soaked it in acetone, never even thought about the plastic selector knob. Ate it out. Um, the next one I'll go with is a gear wrench. This gear wrench I never noticed for the longest time. It has a lockable thing. None of my other gear wrenches do on the, the flex heads. You can lock it in position. That's really cool. I've never noticed that in any of my other ones. None of my other ones have it and I've never seen them anywhere else. Maybe you guys have. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, that's been a good wrench. So gear, we've got gear wrench, channel lock, silver line, tucked in, regular gear wrench, blue point. And then Canadians will know this, Pro Point. It's Princess Auto House brand. And it's the chrome finish on, it's nothing special. But it's been a good wrench. I don't know the tooth count, but it's, it works good. I had no problems. It was relatively cheap. I think it was like 15 bucks for the one. And finally this one. I ordered this on Amazon too, never even paid any attention. It's 11 millimeter flex head ratcheting wrench. It's kind of a satin finish and it has no discernible brand name on it or make, no country of origin, nothing. It's kind of a satin finish, chrome vanadium, chrome vanadium 11 millimeter. That's all it says. Now, I haven't used it a whole lot, but it, I mean, it sounds decent. 11 millimeter, it's not going to get used a whole lot. I'm only, mostly just to fill in spaces, but. I don't know. I don't know who makes it, but 
there you go. It was a cheapie again to fill in spots. So those are all my different ratcheting wrenches and variations of. Um, let me know which ones you, what, what guys you have. What's your favorite? I think if I had to select one, I'd probably go with the Tecton for the six point feature or the channel lock for the open end feature with the serrations in the open end and the V-groove, the V-cut. They, they, they all have the, the flex heads all have a nice stiff flex head with an Allen key that you can tighten them up or loosen them up as need be. Um, and of course my favorite, the blue point. I think just about everybody has these blue point reversibles. And they're just, it's just because they're so good. The best value you can get for the money. And they're rebuildable. There's a C-clip there. You can take them apart. They're just great. I, I'd recommend these to anyone looking for if you're you're starting out and have no ratcheting wrenches get the blue point reversibles or just get yourself a regular set of gear wrench um, the flex head's nice but it's not really necessary so that's what i go with let me know what sets you guys have what you use what you prefer and why so thanks for watching as always please like subscribe and comment thank you